Hello YouTube, this is Zach Manchildress, and, <clears throat> and this is apparently the second video in the Final Boss vs. Zimnus. I'm sorry that I had to split this up into two videos. My camcorder's batteries just crapped out on me. So, don't watch this one unless you've watched the first part. I'm going to continue fighting him now. That's the laser attack I was talking about in the last video, if you saw it. It... As I said, it usually always misses, and it missed right there. It did hardly any damage at all. You're better off just, um, actually dodging the purple laser things, and just concentrating on the exploding clock things, because they do the most damage. Now, gotta work on the, um, wings now. Sorry, I'm not that talkative right now. It's just, um, concentrating on fighting the dude. On to the last part. I don't really see how it's still flying with one wing, though. But that's video games for you. And you don't even really have to dodge those purple laser things. They don't do that much damage. Well, at least to me. As I said in the last video, I'm a level 99 in this one. And... I've got a lot of... Things that keep, you know, my health up and crap. And all this cutscene really is, is that thing falling, and so I'm just going to skip it for time purposes. This is the second time facing him, and instead of having Donald and Goofy, I actually do have Riku, because they went with, um... They went with the king through the portal. And in this part, you fight him. And then for the other part of the time, you're, um, going to these buildings. And you're hitting them at the, the dude. And if a, um, flying building hits a, you know, standing still building, it'll make the one that's standing still fly at you. Just gonna wait till he stops doing that stuff before actually attacking. I could. No, never mind. I don't have any. Now I'm gonna move in and attack up close because. 
it's usually the best time to do it after he does the shield thing. But then immediately, never mind, I thought he was going to do the other thing that he does. This part of the fight isn't actually that hard as long as you know what you're doing and know that he has a pattern for the stuff that he does. It's pretty easy. Move in and attack. Yeah, see if he goes to do that attack and it, it somehow doesn't hit you. That doesn't mean you can continue attacking him because he just won't take any damage. And it's pretty much useless to attack him if he misses that. Once again, I apologize if the, um... The screen is slanted, or you can't really see all of it. As I said in the last one, I have a makeshift, um... What's it called? Stand thing for my camcorder thing. And... It... I just made it out of... A mechanical pencil... Uh, a piece of paper, some tape, and a piece of cardboard. And final hit. As I said, not that hard. Not really at all. I'm going to adjust the camera here for a second. See if I can make it any better. That might be a little better, but I don't know. And this is actually... The final time you fight him in this. I'm just going to skip this. He just monologues for a little bit. This is my least favorite part of this boss battle. Because he cheats epically. Plus, you gotta do this until you're, like, way up in the air. You might get one or two attacks in here or there, but... And he does this thing where he, like, pretty much teleports. And whenever you go to attack one of the two hymns, it turns out not to be him. And Riku's almost dead. He has a whole lot of health in this, and it kind of actually sucks. I can never time that right. Ah. Uh, then he does this thing. That is terrible. And then he does this thing where he shoots you pretty much constantly. Ah, oh, I don't have any MP left. That's why I can't do the... Damn it. Sorry for the language. I'm just... I always get angry at this part. 
because I did it. Ah, I, I couldn't find him there. Oh, I hate this part the most. At this part, you actually play as Riku for like five seconds. And Riku, it sucks because Okay, I got it. That is my least favorite part of this entire thing. But it stuns him. And that's always good to have an, you know, a boss stunned. You can get a full combo out before he tries anything else. I need to heal. I'll heal on my way down. That healed Riku too, so that's always good. And he does the thing where as soon as you attack him, he, um, like, it turns out that he somehow has this ultimate ability to and I can't end this yet because I have Berserk activated and this part you need to press both X and Triangle to deflect all of these you know if you only deflect as Riku then Sora gets hurt and if you only deflect as Sora Riku gets hurt and if either one of them dies you lose and you just pretty much do this alternating you know, the triangle and X buttons, or even, you know, pressing them at the same time to reflect all of these. It's pretty fun, actually. It's fun to watch. And then it goes white, and hopefully my MP's back up by now so I can actually finish a combo. Riku gets pretty much knife and Sora grabs his keyblade and knives him back about a dozen times and then they do this combined friendship blast with Sora's keyblade and it doesn't kill him, you still gotta finish a combo on him. But, um, it stuns him long enough for you to finish a combo. And then that's the boss fight. The final thing is really long to be, um, putting in a thing, and I don't even think you can hear the dialogue, because the, um, camera I have's audio sucks. So that's pretty much the video right there. You don't fight anything else. They all disappear. But that was my video. Bye.